What's up, YouTube? It's JP Dumphy, your BMW genius here at BMW Fort Washington. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use your remote start, your remote parking feature with iDrive 7, found in the new 7 Series and X7. So with that, oh, and uh, I believe the iX is going to get very soon, uh, if it hasn't already. So uh, yes, let's show you how to use this. All right, so of course the glare is in the perfect position so you can see everything happening in the reflection. But regardless, so we're currently in our 740 right now. And what I'm going to do here is pop myself in drive. We are going to drive forward. This is the parking spot right over here that we are going to grab. With it in park mode, we have our usual situation here. And it's just going to do that. And then we say, yes, we are going to park. So we have that, let's say, nope, do it again. Now we pop it there, we have park with the My BNW app. So we're going to select that. It's going to tell us to now exit the vehicle and start remote parking with the My BNW app. So with that, let's do the fun part. And so now I am here in the car, I got to have double this thing up. So I basically have two things happening here at the same time. Not the most efficient way to do it, but uh, it is the only way I have since I am a one man show here. So with that, we're going to go into this guy. Let me look at my face here. Look at me. Now to do this, you do have to have your digital key set up as well as having your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on. In the MyBNW app, you will find Remote Park. We're going to activate this. So up here, it's literally showing us exactly what we have in here. We have perpendicular parking, all that fun stuff. There's also parallel parking, if that's the option, as well as manual forward and backward motion. However, we are going to do the latter. So. Let's pop on out here. Unfortunately, this is not one of the simple start doors. Uh, yeah. All right, so popping out. Here's our thing. We're going to hit get started. Now we calibrate it by moving our phone forward and back to vertical. With that, you hear the car now start it up. You say, yes, there's a disclaimer. It's going to show us this little screen right here, our parking sensors steering and which gear we are in pressing holding this guy shows us all about that so it is moving it is now Forward, back. Reverse gear. So now, it's taking that guy. I am still holding onto this right here. It is going to park over there in that spot. Now the one downside of this is this cannot be done from far away. You still have to be within range of this to do its thing. So let's get a little bit close there, but it is doing just fine. So again, here's where it is here. I'm still holding this guy right there. It's now going to readjust, same as everything else before. As you can see, there is nobody in the car, but this is basically the same system that it does when it does your automatic parking when you're inside the car. The only difference is now you're outside the car. So it's doing that. Readjusting within the lines. And now it says it has successfully parked. So with that, you hit finish, and now you have the option to either continue driving, aka pull it forward or back, or we're going to lock the car and turn off the engine. And with that, completed. That is the remote park system. So unfortunately, I don't have a uh, open spot to actually do it the way it's supposed to be done inside here. Instead, it gets this little one, so it parks a little bit closer to there and basically on the line. Um, but when it's in the normal parking spot, again, it works the exact same way as the, it would internally. Uh, now, again, I just need to reiterate that there are, good Lord, that's very bright. Let me actually pull this guy down, pop this over here. That's a little bit nicer. Not quite as bright. Okay, still kind of bright. But um, bottom line here is it's still, you have to be within range of it. So it's based on the digital key. 
uh, plus and how it connects to the car. So if your car doesn't have Digital Key Plus, you likely do not have this option, aka i4 or anything else that's still running iDrive 7 or a or a um, a digital key version of iDrive 8. So 3 Series, all that. Uh, that might change with the later updates. However, that's just speculation. So we don't know for sure. BMW hasn't said anything about it going forward. Uh, so that is the remote parking feature of that. Again, you cannot do that if you're outside of range of your digital key. It only works with iPhones as of right now. So for that, uh, if you haven't seen, I made a short about this, uh, things you will need to make this work. You have to have digital key plus set up, it has to be an iPhone, and you obviously have to be, you know, owner of the car. Uh, with that, you go into the My BMW app, as I shown on earlier in the video, select it, move forward. Now, another thing you can do is, of course, just simple move it forward and back, which you used to be able to do with that kind of video key that you had available for a while there. But now it's all done through the app, more secure, all the fun stuff there. With that, any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments below. Thanks again for being with us. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, all the typical things uh, that we ask you to do. If there's anything else you want to see going forward, please let me know. Um, I will actually be doing a test drive of this thing, so the smaller six-cylinder rear-wheel drive version of the 7 Series, uh, to you know see how it handles in comparison to the 760 that was driven uh, previously as well as the i7. So with that, thanks for being with us. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.